Welcome everyone. This is meditation number one from the Voice of the Silence. Just breathe out any tension you may have in you. Feel relaxed. It's a matter of tuning the breath with the mind. If you have a disturbed mind, you have disturbed breath. If you have disturbed breath, you have a disturbed mind. So both have to be very calm, very relaxed. So just breathe out any tension. Just breathe naturally and relax. I will just speak the verses in a time of silence. And then <clears throat> I'll give a few, a few words that I got from, from the meditations. <clears throat> a few ideas. So... Just relax now, close your eyes and just absorb the words. <clears throat> the mind is the great slayer of the real. Let the disciple slay the slayer. For when to himself his form appears unreal, as do on waking all the forms he sees in dreams, when he has ceased to hear the many, he may discern the one the inner sound which kills the outer. Then, only not till then, shall he forsake the region of Asat, the false, to come into the region of Sat, the true. Before the soul can see, the harmony within must be attained, and fleshy eyes be rendered blind to all illusion. Before the soul can hear, the image man has to become as deaf to roarings as to whispers, to cries of bellowing elephants as to the silvery buzzing of the golden firefly. Before the soul can comprehend and may remember, she must unto the silent speaker be united, just as the form to which the clay is modelled is first united with the potter's mind. For then the soul will hear and will remember, and then to the inner ear will speak the voice of the silence.
well, we spend our lives immersed in so much noise, inner and outer. The sound of the city or the distractions of TV, mobile phones, etc. But most importantly, the cacophony of our own thoughts, which shut out a direct perception of our true nature, which can only be realised in silence. Now, this doesn't refer to just physical silence, but an inner calmness and harmony that is beyond the chaos of the world or our own thoughts, which are just like clouds in front of the sun. Even a too intellectual study of spiritual teachings can be a barrier to real understanding, which comes from a direct perception of the truth. A mere intellectual understanding is like a house built on shifting sand, as it is in a way accepting things on faith rather than on true knowledge and intuition. But of course we all have to start from somewhere and we have to have this faith in the teachings which appeal to our inner nature and to logic rather than just to blind faith. Thank you very much and I'll see you for the next meditation.